Hey guys, so I uh, just wanted to do a quick little video here checking out the official Lollipop uh, which has been available for the LG G3S and LG G3 Beat uh, and uh, this has been coming on since uh, about early May I think so just wanted to do a quick video here for those of you sitting on the fence wondering whether or not to upgrade or not uh, and as we can see we do have the same kind of big icons here as the LG G3 uh, I'm not going to go too much into like uh, the UI here because I'm sure that you're already aware of how it looks on the G3 uh, but we do want to have a look at what features it does bring uh, to the G3S here so uh, we can see that uh, we do have uh, like uh, the notification shade here uh, is downloading a subsequent uh, download as well which uh, I'll probably do after this video uh, but I just wanted to pause it just to check this out here uh, and uh, we can see we do have access to the brightness here quite quick which is nice uh, the double tap seems to be working as well as you can see uh, so uh, I do like that feature uh, unfortunately we don't get uh, multi-user support up here though which is a bit of a shame I would have liked to have seen that uh, brought onto the device uh, I think the lollipop is based upon Android 5.0.2 so not the latest but then again not uh, like the really buggy 5.0 version uh, which is uh, okay I guess uh, and uh, we can just check out the browser here so you can see we do have LG's browser here and it is uh, quite quick to create new tabs as you can see probably uh, can't have too many tabs because obviously it has only got one gig of RAM here and it would probably make it go mad and we do, I think this has been updated a little bit, the weather panel which uh, looks a little bit cleaner here so if we go into the settings to see if we can see anything different uh, we can have a look here so we do get uh, the gestures still so quite a few of them in there and also the display options like the swipe effect LG does like to have some fun when it comes to this kind of thing you can uh, customize the touch buttons as well you can have a black one which is nice as well as change the combination and all the uh, quick memo seems to be there as well and Q slide quick remote you can get quite cluttered though if you put too much on so I just tend to leave most of it off like that on my G3 and uh, only use it when I need it but it is useful when you do need it so uh, other than that uh, we can have a look if we can see any new wallpapers here maybe not there we go so we do have the stock ones it would have been nice if LG put some more ones on uh, I think actually most manufacturers are a bit boring when it comes to kind of wallpapers nowadays they don't seem to make much of an effort but other than that uh, it seems to be as you can see very nice in terms of the UI here everything does seem to be uh, the same as LG G3 normal size so that is good and uh, we can just uh, round off this quick little video here uh, doing a quick little and two to as well just to check out uh, the score to see if we can see a like improvement I will speed this up to get to the end let's go so you can see here we are getting 18,028 so uh, I think uh, it's a little bit below what I'm getting on my Moto G here uh, which is also running Lollipop 
but at the end of the day they do feel about as fast as each other so uh, obviously the scores can fluctuate a little bit uh, so uh, yeah just a quick little video here then oh yeah before I go obviously uh, someone might be interested in the camera here uh, which is still coming with the I think it's an 8 megapixel one but it does have the excellent uh, kind of laser technology as well which is quite nice for a mid-range kind of handset and uh, we can see it does focus very fast still uh, the actual interface is similar to the G3 here so we do get some options come up uh, and the video recording is working as well so uh, yeah just a quick little video here then hope you found it uh, helpful and I will see you very shortly cheers